three kinds of giving. Number one, giving to the poor. Giving to the poor. It's actually four. But the fourth one, next week is when we will deal with it. Giving to the poor. There are many of you that after you pay your tithes, you say, oh, hey, Nama, don't finish. Oh. I'm not talking about giving to beggars. In fact, stop giving money to beggars. You are wasting your money. Those guys are not intercessors. No, it's true. Find a family. Find the poor. The poor, the Bible says, will always be among you. There are people amongst us that you know. Some of you, they are your roommate. Literally, you know there is no food to eat. And yet again, you are doing charity out there. You are taking money to one orphanage home somewhere else. You have orphans in your own household. But now you, they carry money, go another orphanage home. Where did they worry you? Your generation, they see them around your house. How many of us are our fathers will carry money and go somewhere? You go outside and say, Ah, your father and a better mind they give, but for house. You are orphans. You too, you need generosity. You give to the poor to obtain mercy. You give to the poor to obtain mercy from God. The poor can never reward you. True humility is being available or do something for someone that cannot reward you. When you give to the poor, you yourself know there is no reward back. You know that you are not giving that you will receive. It's not blessed is it that give it to receive. To the measure you have measured, they will measure. That measure you measure will never be measured to you, sir. You give to the poor to obtain the mercy of God. So that you never return back to their level. When you don't give to the poor, even if you pay your tithe, You'll be shocked and surprised. One day you wake up, you become the poor yourself. One day you become the needy because you neglected a category that God said will always be among us. And this poor, many times there are people among us that sometimes I'm telling you, you know, you must have met them. They have not. There are times when you don't have something to eat, you become the poor. Somebody should be generous enough to give you. Forget, say you want to go carry money, give an orphanage. Go for I'm the orphanage now. No, it's true. And it's not tight money. That's the mistake some of you are making. It's not tight. You don't carry your tight and say you are giving to the poor. Or you carry your offering, you are giving to the poor. No. You are wicked. It's like robbing Peter to pay Paul. Paul is still robbed. And Peter is still robbed. Because you will still rob the poor to give another person again. Part of the way to do this is out of that charity money. You can't give to everybody. But there are people. You see, somebody call you genuinely. Not all these one that are on Facebook that somebody is eating, uh, somebody using iPhone 13 and he's telling you I never chop. I, I, I never chop. I'll be mean, urgent 2K. Go and sell your iPhone and buy and get that 2K. But I'm just, there are sincere, genuine people that you know they have not eaten and there is no way. There is nothing wrong with providing. Even for one day, your conscience will be clear that at least you have done once. Some of you in your life, nobody has ever eaten your money. Whether they're poor, whether they're needy, whether they're dying. When people call you, you swear, what lie that lie I don't get. And your account, they say, see me here, oh, see me here. I know a lady that was hiding her account balance from her roommate until one day they collected her 18 when they checked the balance all of them came back crying so you are this age and we are suffering like this and the lady is praying god bless her. how can god bless you that kind of your heart can god bless you doesn't it amaze you how many of our family no money for them to give you for school fees when somebody died in the family there is enough money for burial royal burial for that matter they celebrate the dead more than the living 10 percent of your money should go for charity you give to the poor so that you obtain mercy you give to your friends so that you can maintain relationship you give to your colleagues your friends people that you are in the same level with them so that you can maintain your relationship see if i am your friend and you are my friend one way or the other 
there must be a day you eat my food i'll eat your food that's how life works one day you will come to my house i'll you eat one day i will come to your house i'll eat why maintaining of relationship because anytime you are giving to those that you are the same level what you are doing you are trying to maintain relationship because at the end, if only one person is giving, the other person, the person will be tired. You say, ah, why be saying that only me they give? It may not be equal. Understand this. Because giving is according to measure. Somebody gives you 10,000, you, you can give 500. The person give you 10,000, you can send you the charge card of 500. Not like these ladies that you send them 1,000, the charge card, they now flash you. You now call them. Say, I've seen it. Come can't you just use just 15 naira and call me out of the 1,000? Ah! Men, don't suffer. I have seen it. Before, don't I? Don't you? Before, who will see it? Is it not you? You give to your friends to maintain relationship. Then you give to those above you so that you can go higher. You give to those above you so that you can go higher. Somebody met Bishop Poe. They will say, You have a lot of money. Why are people giving you? Why would you say, Well, the level I am, for you to come to that level, you must give to come to that level. You can give to your mate, you remain in their level. You can give to the poor, you obtain mercy from God, never to return to that level of poverty. But when you want to ascend higher, you must give to those above you. Let me tell you. Having associated with a great, one of the easiest ways to create relationship with them is giving to them. Unfortunately. Many of you have been practicing. You want to come and see me and say, Apostle, I'm coming with a wine or I'm coming with something. You know, I, you know, I will just, okay? But tell me, you, are, you came first time, no bottle of water, no Coca-Cola, nothing, not. You came the third time, nothing. The next time, not available. <laughs> See, it's not my human. You don't come to a prophet empty-handed. It's not that you. I will tell you bring a price tag. But even pure water, carry pure water and come. You turn the pure water, you throw the thing outside, and you enter my house. Me will be talking, wasting my saliva. No, it doesn't work that way. You give to those above you, so that you can rise to their level. Do you know that? All these big, big men. Let me run with you. I remember, was it um, Dr. Paul? Is Pastor Dr. Paul the natural that somebody um, brought one? Is it carved? You want seed like that? And I said, Who brought this one? No, it was the story of Kori De Komaya. I don't even know Kori De Komaya, Pastor Kori De Komaya. Kori De Komaya wanted to have access to. A biomi, Pastor Ebiomi. And he went, went, protocol stop, protocol stop, protocol stop him. Oh. He said he made a commitment to himself. Every Sunday, I'll be, I'll be every month, you'll be giving a car. Eh? So every Sunday, strange. You just like, you know, they are those kind of people, every Sunday now, then they pack gift of cars. Ne? So you just write your name and go. You just, eh, Ebiomi saw so this Sunday, Kolide Komaya. Kolide Komaya. Say, who is this Kolide Komaya self? Say, if he come this Sunday, tell him I want to see him. The Sunday said, okay, uh, please, Kolide Komaya back. You. There are some people that they saw their name, they didn't see it in the next year. So this one is every. That's how Kolide Komaya became very close to a Biome. A Biome now take him to Bishop David to Edebo. That's how he submitted to Bishop David to Edebo. And do you know it was Kolide Komaya? That helped Fato Ibo of Koza. When Koza was having you know, Fato Ibo was fatherless. You know, you know then the importance of fathers until you're in big trouble. When this church was shaking and everything, when everybody was protesting, protesting everything. Nobody speak. He doesn't have a father, so he should solve his problem by himself now. He's a father, he's a father of heaven, the father of spirit, the only one of Israel. <laughs> Everybody kept quiet. Khan was quiet. PFM was quiet. Everybody was quiet. People were protesting. 